Bring us in, Ben. Welcome back, everybody, to week seven, the final week of our regular season for Tech Chase Major League. Uh, we've got a huge match. If MSU versus Davenport wasn't big enough for you, we've got insane implications coming out for CMU versus Oakland right now um, for just the rest of the seeding going down before the playoffs. So I am Beb at Artistic Beb, joined by my good friend, Craig at K-R-E-G-G -G underscore. I put that extra G there because Craig was taken. Because he's a gamer. And because I'm a gamer. G-A-M-E-E-R. Gamer. Yeah, but um, this is this is CMU's final uh, match of the regular season before playoffs. And this is Oakland's second to last match of the regular season. And right now... I think they're tied for third. I actually, I actually got to check. I think CMU's slightly ahead because they've had one more match against CUAA. It depends on how they did on that match, though. Uh, week seven, CMU. Yep, yep they did. Oh play. no, CUAA beat CMU. Wow. So Central did drop one to CUA. All the pieces are coming together for some upsets. Things to be shaken yeah. up here in week number seven. Um, CUAA Concordia Ann Arbor is the school that um, their ceiling going into this week was the four seed. Now, what they needed to do for that to happen is they needed to beat Central and Kettering. And Central needs to lose to Oakland. So... If Central loses this one to Oakland, and if CUA beats Kettering, which they're probably slated to do so, yeah, they secure the four seed, which is is something that would have no one would have thought going into this thing. Yeah, that's insanity. Um, yeah, really good stuff for CUAA clutching out that win. On top of that, you got to think about the implications of the CMU's game plan now going into Oakland. A team they've they've won against already in the first round, Robin. Um, but I don't know. Maybe things are getting a little bit shakier over at the over at the Chips Camp. You know, mm -hmm. um, you gotta you gotta be careful in this in this last um, this last night of our regular season. Uh, it's so it's so crazy how many how many things are just like falling together or falling apart. Even if you're CMU right now, losing yep. to CUAA. But we do have this match, CMU, Oakland. Coming up next, we're going to be starting off with Silent Bean and uh, and who? And Saturn. Saturn. And Saturn with the Lucas. There we see. So I think if you joined us for the pre-show, Ori did explain to us um, what happens in a tiebreaker. Um, if you are tied for seeding going into this, if you have the same record and a head-to-head -head that was split during the regular season and you're tied for a seed in the playoffs, you will play. Just send out your, your best player who you want to go play uh, just a regular best two out of three match. And actually, looking at the way this could play out, depending on how uh, CUAA does and depending on how if... Um, if, if, if Oakland is able this to win, win. Yeah. we could see uh, Central versus CUA play in a tiebreaker match tonight for that four seed. Yeah, and if it does come down to that, that one in one, um, just hypothetically, I think CMU still has the advantage in that situation, having just a little bit deeper of a roster than CUA. Obviously, CUAA, no no uh, slackers on that. You've got Yoder Leahy, who, and Spectral, I believe. Not Spectral. Spectral's on Oakland. And one other really Spectral. good player. Spectral. No. Spectral. No, 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 wait. wait Somebody. We, we flipped it around. <laughs> All right. Anyway, we're in this match right now. We got to focus on this because, uh, you know, CMU has to make it out alive here. And one thing I've been saying, I think one of the Dark Horse players in this league, um, definitely not a Dark Horse team in Oakland, but I think this is Saturn is a really strong player and connecting with the PK Thunder, almost finishing him off, but not going to be enough. Good DI keeping um, keeping Salamine barely alive here, but is the PK player going to do it? No, not enough, but here comes another PK Thunder, scaring him a little bit, but here comes Kirby with a bajillion jumps, able to recover and put some damage on as he does it. Yeah, Silent Bean being really smart, just uh, oh. waiting for recovery. <laughs> and as soon as, he, yeah, as soon as he gets back on the ledge, going to get that dash attack, going to get that kill on Saturn. Right as you say, Saturn, one of the stronger Dark Horse players. Yeah. 
You really had to do it to him, Craig, didn't I know. you? I My bad. <laughs> but yeah, Silent Beam, 148%. Kirby is very light. This is just a grab, maybe, from Saturn. Uh, forward air going to take it. Uh, this is back to even. First time we've seen uh, this map yet on this stream tonight. Saw a lot of PS2 on stream number one last time. Mm -hmm. um, so first time we're seeing, I, I, I know a lot of people don't like playing FD as a starter. You don't see it too often, although it is in the starter set here. Um, I, Obviously, I some characters know who won this. Yeah, some characters are going to have a lot better time on. Ooh, unfortunate, uh -oh. get a little connection error. So yeah, hoping some uh, lag won't be too much of an issue moving forward in this one. So. Looks like they are continuing to fight it out, um, but we will not be able to spectate it. That's always a big bummer, just because a I like I, I want to watch, mm -hmm. and our viewers want to watch. But also, um, you know, if you are going back and reviewing vods, now nah, you don't have it, which sucks. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Hopefully, hopefully, um, some of these teams at least have a little bit of like a like an Elgato setup or something like that where they can record their sets right um locally as well but you know it happens uh it's it's Wi-Fi era uh Wi-Fi is going to do what Wi-Fi is going to do and here we see Silent Bean and Saturn fighting it out um only two stock left from these guys as of the time of you know when we when we split there so we should be seeing what happens after that um yeah we hey, were talking about it's like a coin toss as to <laughs> who's gonna pull this one out honestly from what we saw at the beginning i have no idea who's gonna show up as, as first place when these two stop yeah we i'm not i'm not even gonna i'm not even gonna try and speculate because as soon as i do i'll look like an idiot so um cmu and oakland obviously we talked about how important of a matchup this was we could be seeing a CUAA if CMU loses. So it's first. First and foremost, CMU has to lose this match, which historically they have won against uh, Oakland University. So that's the first. That's the first thing that needs to happen. It which was there Saturn. we see. There we see Saturn taking the win over uh, Silent Bean, but um, CUAA also has to clutch out a win against Kettering as well. Which I don't know if that's going on right now or is going it on is later. It is going on right game. now. It's happening right now on Tech Chase GG2. Yeah. Uh, currently, um, Kettering is up 7 6. Um, CUAA is playing right now. Uh, Jay Goody is in trying to finish off Swalla F's second or last. Jay Goody. Last Jay Goody was up. the player that I was trying to think of earlier. Jay Goody and uh, Yoder Leahy, who some of the probably the strongest players on that CUAA roster right now. A lot of their strengths are going to come how well Yoder Lehihu and Jay Goody do. Um, but obviously, a crew battle, a, a crew is five players, um, yep. or four players, five with a sub. Um, but, you know, it's it's going to come down to how everybody does. And you do got to wonder if, if CUAA does end up playing Central in a tiebreaker going into this here, how that would play out, because Central... I think Central does, of course, have the deeper roster when you look at it on paper, but Yoder had just been putting in so much work, so much time, and he's got that Luigi cheese down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like you, yeah, I could see you, realistically, yeah. if they do get into a sudden death situation, CUA is going to want to send in Yoder Leahy Who, because obviously in a crew battle, Luigi's a crew battle monster, getting those zero to deaths, but also in a in a um you know sudden death situation 1v1 situation luigi's still just as strong here we see superhero coming in with the fox to face saturn superhero is a good chance if we do if all the pieces fall into place and we need to see a cmu cuaa um sudden death situation i could see it being yoder leahy who and superhero kind of impressive i didn't know ness could go down on the stage and do that well how fun well, it is lucas so i don't think Ness could do my that. bad <laughs> <laughs> you're right actually he could not do it <laughs> but yeah superhero only has to finish off this one stock 
and gonna even it out for Team Oakland if he can. Obviously, Saturn wanting to play, want to throw a fork in the plan here, strengthen that lead just a little bit. But superhero, uh, pre-COVID PR player, strongest in his region, almost guaranteed. I think number one on the CMU PR back when that was a thing offline. Um, so that's going to be no even easy feat for Saturn to like make this happen. Um, but Saturn starting off strong. Both these players uh, kind of battling it out back and forth. Saturn, of course, just wanting to take, just just get one stock in and and go positive. Take more stocks than you lose. That's that's his goal here. Good air dodge. Getting out of that up air action. Um, 86% going to be really dangerous to get hit with up air. Up smash going to be really dangerous right here uh, if you if you are playing against Fox. So uh, Super Saturn's got to play really um, you know defensively in this situation. Try and find an edge guard. Up smash going to Don't take it from the. Yeah, yeah, the the uh, roll onto ledge was not the way to go for Saturn. Superhero had it scouted. Um, Saturn goes even 3-3. Three, three. Yep, Superhero read that one like a book. Quick up smash, going to finish it off. But Saturn coming in, starting start pretty strong. Did like, uh, He said he did did what you needed to do. If you, if you lose as many as you, as if you take as many as you lost, you, you did your job. Of course, you want to go positive. Someone has to go positive in order to, to win. But... Um, you know, drawing superhero out that early, that, that's good. Now you get a counter pick against superhero. That that's a, a good one to have a, a counter pick going into it when you're tied in stocks. Yeah, and uh apart from Saturn, Oakland actually has a really good roster of players and characters to go against Fox. Obviously you've got the Lucina with Spectral, uh Werbel Nerfer with the Ken, two characters that you know, can just delete stocks from right. Fox if you if you can get in and find it uh obviously spectral super good off stage with the lucina as well that is one of the weaker points of fox is his recovery it's just you know either you go side b or you go up b and you can either go above the stage or below the stage that's yep. your options that's it that's all you got so if if spectral can hone in on that or whoever whoever oakland sends in next if they can hone in on that delete some superhero stocks um Oakland could have a could have a good showing right now. Yep. Broly forgot about him too with with the Wolf and the Roy. Yeah. Um, so yeah Roy be... Roy's a probably good pick for that as well. Yeah. Just the leading a Fox stock. Yep. Good, strong, neutral, good, powerful hit to take stocks early from a later character like Fox. Um, and yeah, looking at look at their lineup, I I can't tell you. I don't think there's any clear cut. Man, Fox does so much worse against X, Y, whatever character. I, I think it's toss up who, who yeah. Oakland decides to throw in next. And then on top of that, Superhero is such a good player. At some point, um, at this level even, uh, matchups don't really matter all that much. You know, if you lose all three of your stocks with any character whatsoever, you lose. There is no, there is no, my character gets four stocks. Yeah. It's it's just, it's if you lose, you lose. And Superhero is one of those players that you can just lose to because he's better than you. Right, exactly. Let's go, Ninja Cat. Almost tipping over the monitor. The Ninja, where? Juniper. Stop that. Causing a ruckus. I know. Well, looks like we are going to have that Brawly coming in. I wouldn't be surprised if we see the Roy, but he also has that Wolf, like you were talking. Yeah, and again, I don't, I don't know who. If I'm, if I'm feeling comfortable with both those characters, I don't know if there's one over another that I really would rather um, in this matchup, but. We'll see who I, I've seen out. quite a few, quite a few matchups where um, I think Brawley's a little more comfortable going that Roy in some of these situations. I've seen a lot of the Roy play coming from Brawley. Yep. Yeah, I think that's who he's been playing most throughout the league. Um, and we've seen a good amount of. Uh, I think Brawley is the one that's. Uh, you can expect a, a lot of fun out of Broly. He gets confident. He gets rolling. You start to see a, a, a little BM here. Nothing, nothing terrible, but um, likes likes to have fun out there. So, um, yeah, I remember. I remember. Um, maybe it was like the first week or something. It was Oakland versus CUAA. Uh, Broly took the took the advantage of abusing the uh, damage you get from uh, Roy's uh, neutral B to get out of percent of uh, Yoder Leahy, who's grab combos with, yeah. with 
So yeah, definitely, you know, just just wild player. That was uh, week number one, and yeah, our uh, TOs quickly uh, sent them a message like, yeah, uh, I know, yeah, I know we, didn't, we didn't specifically say you couldn't do it, but moving forward, we're specifically saying you can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> so, if, you, if you can get one, it's better to ask for ask exactly. than permission. Yep. Um, and I remember another time we were commentating, I don't know if it was me, you, or, or me and Jacob Jacob, but uh, Broly went almost like an entire match only jabbing with Roy. <laughs> the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> what a cheeser. I know. At first I was like, man, he's, he's really trying to get those jab combos. And I was like, okay. <laughs> he's only getting the jab combos. Yeah. Jab into jab into jab. Right. Quite aggressive recovery starting to cook. Yeah. Superhero kind of doing what, what Fox does is is, is approaches quick, uh, utilizes some double jumps to try and throw off his opponent. And I like how he's... Oh! What a read. I like yeah, how going he's, deep there. I like how Superhero is kind of utilizing that platform to his advantage to stay away from... Um, from the, the rush down that Roy can, can put on just the main stage, but getting right off that spawn platform and just canceling out Brawly's second stock, evening it up real quick here. It has been a battle so far, back and forth this entire time. No one's really had clear, clean control of the stage at all. Yeah, these guys are just hitting each other. It's a, it's a <laughs> slobber knocker! <laughs> Uh, superhero doing a really good job recovering low. Um, Lu uh, Roy doesn't have so too many options to get too many significant um, punishes when you recover low. So if there's anything that uh, Superhero can be a little bit safer with, is trying to go low, but that back air, uh, Broly just chasing him off stage there, finding that kill. Yeah, but Jordan, um, sorry, not Jordan, Superhero trying to do what he did last time and almost found an early stock just to finish it off. Uh, but we're all able to get back to stage and now a good amount of equity out of this one. He continues to put the pressure on it. Oh, finish this that one off the same way. Oh, good back air. What? Oh, oh, oh man. The really? Go the right way. No, really, really good. Just ledge pressure and ledge trapping from Brawly, though. That was impressive. Ooh, run, run up, up, up smash. smash. <laughs> just, just get out of here. Just stop you know, that. <laughs> Fox has Fox has the privilege of just you know being able to do that. There we see superhero getting the perfect angle, going a lot lower into the smash yeah. platform, but forward air going to take it for Brawly. Brawly did so good off stage in that game. I think every single every single kill was just I'm going to run off and punish you for trying to recover, and he got it almost every single time. Brawly taking superheroes uh stocks and there's a one stock difference between these two teams right now yeah and we talked about how spectral has that lucina and can utilize the abilities of lucina to play off stage mm -hmm. and no one th ever thinks of roy as someone who can really i mean he's got some some good offstage options we've clearly seen it but when you think roy you think this character is so strong and neutral it is is it eh, okay? You know, if, you, if you're off stage, you got to be aware of him, but it's not someone to super worry about. Um, but in that case, he must have a good amount of matchup experience with in that that one there. Um, he knew exactly what to do just to make superheroes' life a living hell when he was trying to recover. Yeah, Broly chasing him off stage every single time, trying to secure that kill, getting the back air, getting the forward air, going to take it for Oakland. Uh, let's see how CMU answers back. Yeah, so taking a look at who CMU has left. They dropped their first one. It was um, Silent, Silent Beans Beep. Kirby. Then we saw Superheroes Fox. So remaining, they have Prod and their Wii Fit. Colum and their Rob or Hayes and Bowser are who they have uh, left. Their three. They will be able to send two more in as they have six stocks remaining. Yeah, I think um, if Superhero is here, and Silent Bean already paid for Team CMU. If I had to go to an alternate in this roster right now, I think I'd go for Haz. Um, Colum and Prod just have immense... Um, uh, oh, and there we see Haz. Never mind. Um, going with the Bowser, trying to finish off this stock for Broly. Yep. Um, that leaves either Prod or Colum uh, as the alternate for Team CMU. That's interesting. Oh. 
Uh oh. No contest. Oh. At least we got a no contest that time and not a disconnect. Yeah. What happened? Is that was that a lag issue or a wrong stage maybe? Oh. See, but you can't. Can you just? You can't just no contest out like. Yeah. Can I don't you? know. <laughs> oh yeah, he's gone. He gone. Better better him than us. Right. Oakland looking really strong in this in this set so far. Obviously, it has been really close. But Oakland has they started with the with the win with Saturn getting the win over uh, Silent Bean one stock, and then we see Brawly with a one stock advantage as well. I think it's really going to come down to either Has or whoever else is on the roster playing for Team CMU. If they can even this out and maybe get ahead, that's important. But right now, the way it's going, if they just trade stocks back and forth from now on, uh, it's Oakland winning this one. So, has a, one thing I like about Bowser is he's got a that um, the tough guy. Mm -hmm. Sometimes put yourself in a spot to to turn the table against a strong rushdown character like Rob. Also, Bowser just came so quick, and you find yourself in a combo, you know, being able to just throw out a fair or throw out uh, even even an up B when someone's rushing you down and on shield. Really can put put your uh, a rushdown opponent in the spot they don't want to be. Yeah, uh, he is a, he's obviously powerful as all hell Bowser is. Oh, but um, ooh, not retreating to the ledge like I think he wanted to there. Uh, still recovers and an SD from Broly. Ooh. That is unfortunate. Taking it back even has, didn't even have to do too much there. Just hit him off stage with a little bit of an up special. I think and, he, uh, yeah, got him with an up special on the ground, a forward air, missed sitting on his face, and I think then there was just one recovered. jab. It was like jab <laughs> yeah. one in there is sometime too. Yeah. Not yeah. a whole lot. Not a whole lot happening in that match, but um... <laughs> I love how you were like, I think, I think he, uh, he he tried to he tried to do that and land on the ledge. I think that was a mistake, or was it a mistake? <laughs> I think the he was play. luring. Yeah, that was the meta right there. I'm gonna lure him into doing this, and then I'm gonna make a pineapple himself. That was exactly yeah. what his thought was. Has with the monster punish there. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely, that, that was calculated for sure. Yeah, so we got Meta with the Shulk, Wurble Nerfer with the Ken, and Spectral with the Lucina uh, are the possibilities for Oakland right now. Um, against, yeah. uh, against a Bowser. Um, I don't know if I like the Ken. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how these matchups or how these players play these matchups too well. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sit here and speculate about all of that jazz. But um, that was a really big SD. If, yeah. if, if Spectral or, or sorry, if Broly would have been able to at least take one stock and bring the deficit up to at least one, um, Oakland is in a much better spot. But with that SD, with that unfortunate SD. Um, CMU's got a little bit of fire underneath of them now going into this next match. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm noticing too that Oakland, we, we've talked about it on stream, you know, kind of sometimes when it comes to crew battles and when it comes to Wi-Fi, you got to just, sometimes you got to just throw that cheese out there. I don't mm -hmm. know if Oakland really has any like unadulterated stinky cheese that they have on their team. I mean, Lucas can be can be a little cheesy here and there, but other than that, some pretty honest characters that they have all around on their roster. Mm -hmm. Lucina, Wolf, Ken to an extent. Ken. I don't know if you can I don't know if you can call Ken the fairest yeah. character in the world, but right. he's got his 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 um, you know, his kit seems right. very fair. Just just, you know, you you hit him, you get the combo, you get the confirm, and then you win with the uh, you know, the Shoryu friggin' special Shoryu, whatever. Um, but uh, Lucas and Shulk, Shulk is kind of a cheater character, for sure, with the arts right. uh, being as silly as they are, obviously. Oh, Werbelderfer going to be coming in now with the with the Ken, like I was talking earlier. Let's see if he can do something against the big body Bowser. Um, if anybody's going to live against true Shoryu, it's going to be against, it's going to be Bowser, the heaviest character in the game. So, yeah. Um, 
Let's see. Let's see what happens. Yeah, that's true. Uh, Shulk does have a little chi. Just click a button and then make him impossible to kill with <laughs> shield. Forgot about that one. But... And you can do it while you're being hit. While you're in hit yeah. stun, you can still yeah. change into shield. What the hell, right. Nintendo? Right. Just, hey, do you want to become the thickest boy in the in Smash? <laughs> Just press this button. They added a thick button to my controller. That's insane. Yeah. Might as well have. Yeah. <laughs> Focus. Not gonna. Not gonna do much. Wurbledorfer seems to be playing pretty uh, cautiously here. Has definitely has a tendency to. Once he gets a hit, he kind of just goes off. And if you if you fall for the cheesy, um, you know Bowser reads, he's going to kill you at like 40. Yeah. Um, but Wurbledorfer playing a little bit more patiently, getting the damage where he can find it. Becker not going to kill off the stage, but still has uh, has at a bad position right now. I mean, a little aggressive with you. that down air. Yeah, that down air was a mistake. A little bit too long to recover. Too much end lag on that one. If you find yourself a good amount of end lag in neutral against a Shoro, you are in trouble, which is what happened with that stock. Yeah, so far it seems like Warble Nerfer has a lot of uh, this matchup experience. Or, you know, Ken maybe just does really good against big body characters. Ooh, back air, catching him, jumping in. Uh, Warble Nerfer thought he was ahead there and uh, thought he could get aggressive with his uh, approach there. And has punishes him for it really well, evening this back out. And there we see Paz kind of going on a tear right now, 80%. I think we're seeing an example of, of what you said happens when you find yourself just losing a stock or getting hit by some of that that Bowser cheese that you don't really expect. Oh, wow! And then as you as you say, that Nerf, <laughs> yeah. yeah, just just jumping right back into that kind of kind of rolling over some of the momentum that has had in that situation. Another down air doesn't hit it this time. Looked like a sweet spot for it though. That's neat. That. 90% was on Werble for a long time. I remember you pointed it out early. Is this going to be enough? Yes, on the platform. It wow. is a man grab, scooping him up and finishing that stock. I there. don't know if he DI'd that correctly. Obviously, that's got a little bit of a weird DI and it kills super early, but it's a strong move regardless. Koopa Kong yeah. going to take that second stock. Back to even. Werble nerfer in a good position, but uh, if anybody's going to just steal a kill from you, it's going to be Bowser. Yep. And 115% on. Wurble, I'm sorry, on uh, on Hayes. Uh, keep in mind, you know, Bowser, how heavy he is. It doesn't matter how much percent you have on, you have to finish the stock out. You don't take percentage into you into the next match. So he's just doing his best to keep this one alive and just to keep the lead here. Both four stocks apiece. Who is going to put their opponent down to their last player is the question. Ooh, and did he do it again? Yeah. Yeah, the same way he dropped his first stock. Essentially, I mean, one was a one was the uh, the, the Bowser bomb. One was the down the down air. But either I think actually, way, I think I think down that was down special. I down think special, down special. Yeah. I think down special is Bowser bomb. I think side B is Koopa Claw. I think that's I think that's the name of it. But no. regardless, oh maybe I'm wrong. I mean, I mean the first the first stock he took it was the down air that uh, he he came down a little too early yeah. and yeah. he ended up getting getting show rude and. What is it, Hadouken? And, not Hadouken, whatever that that movie true is. Sure you, true Shoryu. True Shoryu. True Yeah, that whole thing. And then to finish then off his last stock, funnel. other side of the stage. Yeah, almost the same thing. So almost like he didn't learn from the first mistake, and it did cost him the stock. And he is leaving. Um, he is leaving Oakland. Still in the ahead. Lead going yeah, into their last three. Yeah, regardless of that SD from. Uh, friggin who was it that sd uh was it broly yeah before bitch that sd from broly doesn't doesn't matter at this point because we're still you're still one stock ahead if werble nerfer can take one of these stocks before sending in oakland's last player he'll be in a really strong spot to take this win over cmu obviously yeah, but... that's no that's no strong that's no small feat against prod in this situation yeah i was gonna say if there's if there's a player on their team i mean there's there's a good amount of them but prod one of the stronger players does have the absolute potential to just to take four here so i'm sure oakland is feeling confident but probably not counting their chickens yet Ooh, right off the bat with a really strong parry gonna get a little bit of damage in there
Chasing him down and seeing the projectiles going one over the other as they feel each other out here. That soccer ball doing some damage and uh, Werbel not ready for it almost early in this match, but it's going to be something that I'm sure that once he remembers what it's like playing against a, a Wii Fit, <laughs> he'll get be, used to it quick. He'll get he'll get used to it real fast and, and understand how his recovery options will be affected by that projectile coming at him. There is he deep breathing coming online for Prod. It doesn't look like he's too aggressive in this situation. Probably a smart uh, thing to do if you lose any of your stocks. That's these are the three stocks that CMU has for the rest of this crew battle. So you don't want to lose any from some oh. BS. Oh, oh man. From it? Yeah, that would have been that, that was a work of art in itself. It would have been a masterpiece if he would have taken sock with it. Let some of the some of the uh the 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 conservative conservative uh gameplay from prod there really paying off. If he would have been ten more percent or anything like that, he would have been dead, but true sure you gonna take that. Werbel Nurther already already you know, putting in a lot of work for Team Oakland. Getting his money worth there is the four stocks. He is already positive in this matchup and puts Oakland at least guaranteed to be a stock up going, I'm sorry, yeah, one stock up going into the last one. Man, but let's see if he can go take even more. He's got 159%, gonna have to do a lot of work if he's gonna take another one, but he's got that hey, rage, full rage in his pocket, yeah. Yeah, that's full rage right there. Sure, sure, he was gonna kill all the earlier, but forward tilt, going to take it for Prod. Uh, only two or three right now. If there, if there's a, if there is a, um, you know, somebody on CMU's roster that can go at least even, or it uh, has to go above even in this situation. Uh, yep. it's, it's prod who can do it for team CMU. So, um, let's see what spectral can do in this next matchup. Yep. So spectral, I'm assuming we are going to see the, um, Lucina. Lucina. Yep. Mm -hmm. So, obviously, we could possibly see Meta with the Shulk. Uh, Meta does get a lot of game time for Oakland. Oakland is definitely one of the rosters that switches in and out players frequently. Um, so, possibly Meta. But week seven, you gotta believe most of these teams are going to go with the best of the best on their yep. roster, and Spectral fits that bill pristinely. Yeah, I mean, it, it's coming down to this. I mean, we've talked about the, the the potential outcomes for what happens for Central if they lose this one. If they lose this one, they're looking at... Actually, let's go. I'm going to go take a peek over at TechJSGG2, see what's happening. And yeah, yeah let's, let's it, it looks like um, Kettering is down to their last stock, and Jay Goody has three left on FD. They just started. Um, unless I'm missing something here, their stocks are not... They're not fighting with the same amount of stocks as it says on the scoreboard. So something's happening over there, but it looks like CUAA has the lead. So it looks like they are probably going to be pulling it out over Kettering, which means that if Central loses this one, they're probably looking at having to play against CUAA in a tiebreaker situation. And keep in mind, Central just lost to Concordia tonight. So they're probably looking against Superhero Prod, someone having to fight against Yoder in a best two out of three. So that's going to be a, a sticky situation. You really need Prod to... He has a two-stock. He has a two-stock um, He has uh, a three-stock. He has um, a three-stock Spectral. Does he have only... He only has one stock left? Uh, Prod has two stocks left. Two stocks Spectral, left. So, Spectral has so, three. So he, yes, so he has a two-stock. I mean, you're right. You're right. So he needs to, um, you know, have a come-from-behind victory here to pull that out, take that pressure off it. Um, to secure uh, a decent seed without having to play in a playoff. But man, I can tell you, talk about not a major Cinderella story, but for CUAA to, to beat Central tonight and possibly be playing for a four seed, no one thought going into this that CUAA was going to have a shot to be one of the top four teams, one of the better half of this league. But they've been putting in a lot of work. I know... Um, you know, they, they take this really seriously over there. Um, they got a really good coach in Dre. He's done a great job. Um, I, you know, I, I've known from talking to some of the people who've been in the scene, just really helping some of the younger players in the scene all the way back in Smash 4 to helping them develop and get better and, and play. And now he's got a, a coaching position at CUAA and has been doing a good job um, with that there. Has really gotten the most he can out of Yoder. So great job for CUAA. But Yeah, uh, CUAA Oakland, really, really, well, specifically CUAA right now, um, finding their footing during the second half of this round robin. Um, really good stuff later in the season. Started off a little rocky, but um, really looking to make a name for themselves for potentially. But yeah, we've got Oakland and CMU right now. Yep. 
Um, and looking at what can happen for Oakland here. We've looked at kind of CMU's trajectory. 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 Yeah, that's what's going on. But Oakland, going into this week, the best they could have done would have been the two seed. The worst they could end up is the five seed. Um, and I think taking a look here, they this is the first match that they've had of the night, I believe. Um, they do play against, let's see here, schedule. I'm getting I'm getting a anonymous word from a fan, Craig, that uh, the mustache looks really good. Oh, thank Just you. Just so you're aware. Wow, really paying off after my wife told me how much she hates it. It's great to hear <laughs> how much the Smash community loves it. At least the homies love it. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, this is the, this is the matchup that comes down for CMU. Three, really important two, stuff. One, the implications go. of this matchup, that coveted fourth position. Um, Prod has to make it happen here. Yeah, so yeah, Oakland is playing. This is their first match of the night. After this one, they're heading over to stream number two to play against Davenport, which is just going to be a tough one for them. Mm. So, um, yeah, they're they're kind of juggling between potentially second seed and also maybe playing for the fifth seed. So they need to win this one. <laughs> this is big one for them too. Yeah, what a what a what a fall from grace it would be seeing CMU so low in the seeds going into the playoffs. Um, but Prod, such a monster player, obviously very active in the Michigan Wi-Fi um, scene. And uh, let's see if it if he can make this happen. Yeah, already feel getting that quick deep breathing in. Only 11% on him, making it a little bit tougher on Spectral starting out here. But here comes Spectral getting his footing and doing what um, we fit do best, kind of retreating off the ledge, getting that soccer ball out. But Spectral ready for it. Ooh, double hit from the soccer ball. That was a pretty dangerous situation. Spectral looked like he was, you know, in the driver's seat off stage, and Prod kind of just switched it around on him. Still 80% here. If you're Prod, you got to find this first stock quick and then start racking up the extra percent. Forward are going to take it. That's that first stock. Only 78%, and he has deep breathing. Uh, Spectral playing a little bit conservatively here, waiting out on the Angel platform, but already a barrage of projectiles. Uh, finding Spectral and hitting the mark. Just putting the damage on the prop and not finding a way yet to kill. And right as I say that, just the tip of that sword, a good strong forward smash, reading the recovery and finishing off that stock. 59% was put onto him before he could take it. So he's still sitting in very much in the driver's seat here. Yeah. Um, you know, 59%, that's not, that's not too much behind, especially when you are guaranteed a stock ahead. Yep. And this is where you start to feel a little uncomfortable. It's like, stop throwing things at me. Can I just please, get back to the stage, please? Please stop throwing things at me. I please. prefer playing the game. Yes. <laughs> and Sun Salutation. And not able to knock that back like the soccer ball. And speaking of getting things thrown at him, a giant energy ball. Going to finish off that stock. We are down to one apiece and essentially all tied up. With, it looked like a second ago Spectral had a fairly comfortable lead in this thing. He's probably feeling the pressure now. Yeah, it's back to even, but here we see Spectral kind of kind of running with some running with some damage here. Back air off the platform, going low, doesn't get too much of an edge guard there. Luckily for Prod. Prod getting a good hit in a neutral, retreating, getting the soccer ball out, but up B. That's one thing that um, Lucina's do like here at this stage is oh that oh, being able to use goodness. that up B and safely recover to that that center platform. Oh, what? What happened? He just died. Oh my goodness, Prod. Deep <laughs> Spectral just going for it, betting it all on that going just a little bit too deep, dropping off the ledge, trying to put the pressure on, and that is going to do it. Down to the last stock, uh, Central pulls it off as Spectral falls to his death there. So That is a heartbreaker like, for Yeah, Simone that did. is a heartbreaker, and, and that's that was... Pressure for both those teams. I mean, and, and if you're central, you are wiping your brow right now because after Louis, they lost Concordia, they only they lost by one stock. They found themselves almost in the exact situation, except they were able to pull that one off around. with a, a little bit of help from their opponent. 
that time, though. So <laughs> we take those. I mean, you take those in this situation. And I, I'm sure Spectral's probably beating himself up a little bit here. But, I mean, they are, are in the driver's not in the driver's seat, but they are, are, are firmly in the playoffs. They don't need to worry about that. But, man, playing for that seed, that could be a big factor, dropping that stock there. Like we mentioned, I mean, if you have to, if, you, if you're the three, four seed, I'm sorry, the four or five seed, you know you're playing against Michigan State in round two should you win that one. Um, so that that's a tough thing if, if you're if you're Oakland and you look back at that and you say we could have had we could have potentially secured that three seed or maybe even that two seed but now we're, we're dropping here that that's a tough thing a tough pill to swallow. Looks like we're gonna get Has for an interview coming up soon. Um, obviously squeaked Has kind of kind of squeaked away. With with that one SD earlier on the in the match, um, after a strong showing as well, um, yeah, it was it was actually pretty instrumental if you look back onto it, where Oakland kind of started to falter and there was only that one stock difference. If he wouldn't if he wouldn't have uh, won that game, uh, what was that? Oh yeah yeah I know I was I was I was just talking, but yeah uh, that one stock difference became all the all the all that they needed cmu needed to finish off that game yep so good win looks like are they using superhero discord is that what's going on okay as working through some of those same discord things we talk about every week so you love to see put, it put that on the production checklist for the meeting this week <laughs> figure that out our producer says he will have it figured out in one second don't you worry one <laughs> two four Yeah, remind me again, has had a match against um, Werble, right? Yeah, I and think he also he... finished off. Um, he finished off Brawley's first stock. Because yes, Brawley because that was SD. the that was the SD. That was the one. Talk about you talk about SDs, especially at the end of that one. You forget, too, that Brawley had a, a, a silly one as well. Yeah, the the uh, <laughs> the SDs really coming in clutch for Team CMU against Oakland, kind of the bane of Oakland in that set. <laughs> so here we go. Yo, he's here. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hey, congratulations on the win. Looks like you guys are uh, progressing uh, pretty good. You had a 1-1 a one, one week. You dropped one probably that you, you didn't want to or didn't think you would against Concordia, but congrats on the win against... Um, <laughs> against... Uh, Oh my gosh. Oakland. <laughs> uh, against Oakland tonight. Losing yeah, my mind. Babe, I'll let you take thank off you. over this interview. What am I doing here? <laughs> so. All right. Yeah, we've seen we've seen quite a few weeks where you've had explosive um starts to matches. Is that kind of your game plan when you start a match? Are you looking to find obviously I don't want to say that cheese. That's a little that's a little bit uh derogative, but are you looking to find those kills really, really quickly? Kind of kind of get a kind of get an upstart on the opponent? Yeah, sometimes I think People like to think Bowser plays a bit more defensive online with like uh, his uh, six frame options, but yeah, sometimes people aren't expecting like a random down. It can sometimes get other times. Yeah, one thing absolutely. that was saying about your play style, uh, you know, you you fall for one little piece of uh, one little Bowser kill to to has and, and you're done for. So that's one thing we pointed <laughs> out on stream here. Now, um, you guys, you're you're already done for the night. Um, you know, it's going to depend on how things shake out for for you, depending on where, if you're going to be the, the I think the the three seed. I think you or might be locked seed, in, or the four seed. I believe you're going to be kind of locked in there, um, which means you will be playing either the three seed or the four seed if that turns out. Uh, which means you will go up against MSU should you win your first round of the playoffs next Saturday. Now, I guess as as a team, what what strategy do you guys have? Um, moving forward do you guys uh have have practices do you run scrimmages do you look at vods i guess what's what's the game plan for preparing for playoffs for cmu yeah well um i think we're just gonna stick to, uh staying positive about it and uh we just started 
having a two week or two practice. So that should help us out. Make sure we're not rusty going in. Uh, I believe the playoffs. So um, we're gonna do that. Me personally, I might vod review. It's up to everyone else's discretion. Um, but yeah, keep practicing and have a good mindset going into it. Yeah, nice. so uh, CMU doubling up on the practices, going into the playoffs, that's always a good look um, for your team. I think one thing that you have to be really wary about in VOD review and practice and stuff, find some Ike experience. If you guys if you guys can take <laughs> on Hawk, yeah. you know, and, and dominate him and just, just get that out of the way, I think CMU looks really strong in that matchup after that. Yeah, they'll definitely... Uh, double up on going into that week all right well hey congrats on on the win here tonight on stream and on your your one one tonight uh on win tonight um uh, good luck uh, in your preparation and we'll, we'll look forward to having you guys back here on stream in uh about 10 days from now a couple saturdays but we'll see you here for the playoffs all righty looking forward to it thank you fire up fire up so that being said Said we are going to take a quick break and then we are going to wrap things up by bringing Ori back on to discuss playoff implications if we do have any potential tiebreakers tonight. But also keep in mind you can switch over to Tech Chase GG or Tech Chase GG2 to continue watching some Smash action as there still are a couple matches yet to be played over there. Uh, we will be right back.
Welcome back. Thank you for sticking around after the first two matches we had on stream. We are in a little bit of a post-game show. Uh, we have Ori here with us to discuss what happened this week and what we have looking forward to the playoffs, which will be next Saturday, March 6th, um, starting at 2 p.m. So put it on your calendar there. But Ori, you've been talking to us here off stream about like 80 bajillion different things that could happen. I guess... What are some things we need to look out for? There's still a couple of matches here on stream. Are we going to have any tiebreakers? Give us the rundown, the, the quick the, the quick and dirty overview, if you will. Well, when, when we were doing the pre-show, there were definitely 80 bajillion things that could have possibly happened. But now there's only a few things now. There's, there's like less than five things, I believe. Um, the first thing was that as soon as Aquinas beat Kettering, we automatically had our six teams locked in for playoffs. There was nothing that could change from that moment on. Our six teams that are going to playoffs are now Michigan State, Davenport, Central Michigan, Oakland University, Concordia University, Ann Arbor, and Aquinas College. We have our six teams for next Saturday locked in. And okay. that's nice. Uh, it definitely made things a little bit easier on my end, where I'm just like, wow, cool, we don't need to do all these tiebreakers. <laughs> but um, right now, the... Next match that should be happening, I believe, on Tex Chase GG, the next big stream, which is OU versus Davenport, is the matchup that actually has the most implications for um, what is going on with the uh, rest of this night, basically. So in the event that OU does beat Davenport, um, both teams will be at a 9-5 and five standing. Um, and what that is going to do is it'll put Davenport, uh, down at the four seed automatically, uh, because they will be, um, hey, well, wait, wait, will it be? Oh, <laughs> I, oh, that would cool. be actually worse. I think something worse could happen up. there. Um, because I just realized that if OU beats Davenport, We'll have three teams set at nine and five. Um. Oh God, I that's crazy. I just realized it's a logistical that, that nightmare. actually could be a logistical nightmare because Davenport is up two zero in a head to head versus um CMU, but Davenport and OU are split one one against each other, and so is CMU versus OU. I believe CMU yes, beats because Oakland. Oakland and yeah, CMU beat oh, it, Oakland in the first round robin, and C and Oakland, sorry, CMU just got the win as well against. Yeah, yeah oh they're, no, they're so well. C right there. Okay, so never mind, never mind. Crisis averted. CMU automatically would become the two seed. No, they wouldn't. No. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. I did not think about that one. That is going to be a logistical nightmare to deal with. That I'll do with. I'll deal with off stream. <laughs> uh, so whether if OU beats Davenport guys, we are in for a headache upon headaches. Um, but in the event that OU drops to Davenport, Davenport moves up to 10 and four. It locks in the two seed automatically, but with OU dropping down to the, a score of nine and six or eight and six, we actually get to see a head to head matchup with CUAA who are coming off of a two O week where they beat both um, CMU. CMU and Ke <clears throat> and Kettering. So and that, that would be a head-to-head -head between CUA CUAA and whom? And OU. Okay, to determine okay. the four seed? And that would be who is the four seed of yes. the entire uh, regular season, which would give us... Um, which is kind of important because uh, the way... Uh, banning works or home team versus away team in college terms since that's kind of like what we've been using all uh, season long. Mm -hmm. uh, the four seed is since they're the higher seed technically, they would become the home team. So they get a uh, ban advantage over the fifth seed team when they have their crew battle in next Saturday. So is it, yeah. Is it four five against each other or is it? Yeah. So yeah, it is. Yep. It's four five. Yep. Four verse five, three verse six. One is waiting on the result of four verse five. The two seed is waiting on the three verse six. Yep. So yeah. Um, so we have a lot of implications that are coming from this OU versus uh, 
Davenport game, which is just now starting over on Tech Chase GG1. So, guys, Ooh. if you are looking Best for... That's coming out, coming out first for everyone. Oh, he is. Mm -hmm. That's important. That's big. Yeah. Um, but... And MSU is losing, MSU to, Ferris, is losing to Ferris right now. Let's go, Ferris. Oh, my God. What a... The dream. The childhood dream. They actually can't make it into uh, playoffs now. They lost earlier. Than this game is but for could nothing. Could you imagine? But, yeah. No. What, see, what Ferris is fighting for is not to be tied for last, but that's to true. be seventh place overall. Oh, yeah. They win this. They're seventh. Yeah, that's a... And and to be yeah. the only team all to season. Be MSU. To be MSU. To be MSU. Yeah, what a story <laughs> that would be. That would be funny. But yeah, so we have, uh, just, I guess just so we can wrap up here, um, OU versus Davenport is going to be the match to watch just because the most implic like the most implications ride on this match. Mm -hmm. um, so I definitely going to be watching it very carefully uh, as we head into the last like half hour, 40 minutes of uh, tonight's uh, right. La the last right last night of the regular season. Yep. Um, so I'm and then really if, excited. If Oakland, if Oakland does take that dub and they go to the head to head, uh, that'll be on stream one, correct? It should be. Yeah, because um eh, that's that's what we're gonna that's what i'm gonna have to try and figure out because uh ou at nine and five would be tie oh ou at nine and five is tied versus um davenport but loses to cmu and C davenport it, we actually have a weird triangle there's happens. layers to this. Yeah, because you have like your, onion. you have yeah, it's like ogre. It's like an ogre. <laughs> There's like layers. Ogre. OU is greater than. OU it would be, if Davenport w loses to OU, um, you actually have this freaking perfect triangle. Oh my god, I think. Do they just have a a a, a circle of? Yeah, it so would be to, a well, it would play be, a, a, it would a actually have to, we'd actually have to do a mini round robin between the three schools. Oh wow. <laughs> be, yeah, we'd actually have to because OU would go if OU wins they're up 2-0 on Davenport um while being down 0-2 to CMU who is down 0-2 to Davenport. Hmm. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. That's a yeah. lot. <laughs> have fun mr uh event organizer oh <laughs> oh i was not prepared for this so it's not looking like uh best Ness is uh putting a little bit of a show over there just three stocked saturn to start this thing off so it as it looks it might not happen if just who knows yeah know. there are two there are two timelines guys and I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go make a tweet about it so we can just get some uh, interactions going. Or he's gonna send twenty dollars to Best Nest not to throw this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I do not collude, especially. With <laughs> I do not collude. I do not condone colluding. But as a TO, sometimes I want what's best, to, what makes my life easiest to happen. So Davenport. Sometimes I kind of want you to win, but like OU, I'm down for Golden Grizzlies to win because that's uh, Golden Grizzly pride. But I sometimes I think with my organizer head. Now, for, for the, the people watching, um, I'm assuming that if we do have to do any sort of playoff, it's probably going to be on a the most convenient stream for anyone. So like Oakland, they're playing on stream two right now. If they have to do a play in, they're probably just going to stick on stream two. Or are we going to move them all to stream one? What do you, what do you um, think? I think what we'll do for the uh, in the event of any tiebreakers, we'll probably just have everything happen on Tech GG since it'll be up and running. Yep. Right now, because this uh, aura game is going to probably go offline as soon as this is done. Um, what I just need to make sure is that these coaches are well aware of what could be happening. So mm -hmm. I'm definitely going to have to go rally the uh, some of the coaches and uh, lunges together real quick. All right. Well, we will let you get to that. Thank you so much for, for tuning in with us to give us a rundown of some of the possibilities that we could see tonight and in the playoffs. Ori. Um, it has been a great stream. Two fantastic matches we got to see here on stream number one. A great way to conclude the first season of Tech Chase here before we go into the playoffs. Put it in your calendar. Like I mentioned earlier, the playoffs are next Saturday, March 6th, starting at 2 p.m. All going to be on one stream. Every single match is going to be streamed. Um, have some 
we, we got some pretty good ideas to keep the production up and high level. Should be a really entertaining night. So that said, I am Craig. Check out the socials down here. Here is Bab. Check out his socials beneath him. And thank you so much for tuning in. Stay classy, gamers.